and you said, hey, I've got a deal of a lifetime for you. I am selling gift certificates, and I'm going to sell them $150 gift certificates for only $100. They're getting $50 free. When you sell gift certificates like this, you just need to remember to charge the sales tax on the to the retail amount. So, a hundred fifty dollar gift certificate, you charge the sales tax on that amount. Okay, but she's only going to pay the hundred dollars plus that sales tax. So that's one way. If you just got four people to do that, there's your order. Just four. Okay. What if you had eight friends? And you said, hey, I've got a $75 gift certificate that I'm selling for $50 plus sales tax on the $75. She's going to get $25 free. Yes, this cuts into your profit. But when you want a goal, when you want to meet a goal and you want something, that's okay. Your profit you're going to get when you pull out your own makeup out of that box anyway. <laughs> okay, now, what if you had 20 people? What if you had 20 people? And you sold them $50 gift certificates for only $35 plus tax on the $50. They're getting $15 free. And there is no certain gift certificates. You can make up your own. Um, do it any way you want to. There might even be some gift certificates on our Facebook page. And I just added you to our Facebook page. So um, check that out. You can also have a party. You can have a party, you know no big deal. You can sell something. Do you have something sitting in your garage of no value to you anymore or just in your way? Sell it. How about gold? Any old gold jewelry? Do y'all know it's going for twelve dollars to $1,500 an ounce right now? That I flipped out. I couldn't believe it. Um, so those are just a few of the ways that you can get a $400 wholesale order together this month. The other thing, and I'll just pass these around. This is from another director. And she has been on the Queen's Court of Sales for the past five years, I think it is, in a row. And what she does is she has an end-of-the-year sale. And she had different ones. And so this one here, she's got everything on sale from now till Sunday, June the 30th. And the way she works it, if they buy $1 to $49, she gives them 5% off. 100 or 50 to $99, they get 10%. 100 to 149, 15%, so it goes like that. She also gives them a free gift of purchase. Um, and if she, if that customer refers a friend to her, you know, and she buys something, and she's not been a Mary Kay user, then she gives them an extra 5% off. So I'll just pass these around because they're easier if you just look at them. Um, that's one thing. So that her end of the year sale, I just think it's really cool. This one right here. She, uh, every $10 you spend, you get $2 in free product. As a bonus, if you buy $100, you get $25 for free. Um, she's got a super bonus. So these are just, just some little ideas there to help y'all out. So, now we're ready to get started on the botanicals. <laughs> okay, he has not tried botanicals in here. Lisa and Patty. Okay. Do you have a friend? And Kaylee, have you tried it? Yeah. Have oh, have you tried? I, I, I did the little sample. Okay. Okay. All right. This is gonna feel really good. And this is for people who have really sensitive skin or who are allergic to everything. This would be a good one. Um, the botanicals have no added fragrance or dyes or anything like that that some of the other products may have. So and this is also what has taken the place of our classic basic that we've had for so many years. So, first of all, let's get eye makeup off. <coughs> and we've got the dog song. Lauren is our oil-free eye makeup remover and it is so gentle for your eyes because your eye area is so thin the skin is and so this is very gentle for your eyes but it's also strong enough to kill the critters and when I say that what I mean is eyelash mites mm -hmm. have you heard of them mm -hmm. okay well this will kill them but it's still gentle for your eyes so you just want to lay it on your eyes and then just gently wipe it away 
Mama went finally went and got her a big She needs it. Sorry. That's sexy. Did I miss the best part? No. Okay, here we're at Wednesday's house. Okay, let's go on. <laughs> <laughs> I got them, Patty. You sure? Yeah. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. All right. I'm going to run and get these wet, but while I'm doing it. Okay. Sure. Thank you. Okay. This is our cleanser, and we're going to use the one that is for normal skin. It does come... Um, for normal skin, then there's one for dry skin, and then there's one for oily skin. So we're going to use the one in between. Um, and what I want you to do is just, it's creamy, and I just want you to smooth it all over your face. And just remember to go up and out. And the reason we do that, Lauren, is because when you pull down on your skin, you're actually helping gravity. It's, <laughs> we don't need gravity. We don't need to help it any. <laughs> so just remember to go up on your face, up and out. And then on your neck, you always want to go up too. So we, we have a little saying, we say, up means young and down means old. <laughs> so, there you go. This normal cleanser? Linen. Normal mm -hmm. cleanser? Sure, yeah, it's normal, what we're using. The, the same thing? The same thing, uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, that one just came out faster. <laughs> oh. Thank you, Miss Magazine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. One for you. There you go. Lonnie told me I sounded like an elephant going up the stairs. <laughs> Did you just say, how dare you? you? I certainly Shame did. Shame him. <laughs> Shame, Shame on him. you. <laughs> Shame on him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do take random pictures. <laughs> and she does. Oh, you post them on Facebook. Yeah, because yeah, I was looking through the page the other day to oh, show no. mom. She said, oh, there's a picture of you. I said, oh. Goody, goody. Let's go too far down there. We like pictures. Yeah, we got to go down there. And I like videos, too. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we wipe it, wipe it off? Yes, go ahead and wipe it off. We have a great video of Angie okay, this is dancing. Oh, yeah. I can't wait to get her to do the normal shake. Oh, yeah. From the back end. I wasn't a very... I wasn't a very good filmer. I don't see that. <laughs> we, Kirstie and I, were, what were we trying to do? The... What is it? The cha-cha slide? The cha-cha slide. Yeah. Keep us shuffle one of those two. I don't know. We were doing something funny. It was thing. bad, whatever it was. <laughs> Kirstie's going to die when she But I had so much fun. <laughs> oh, I did I can't it's wait. Matters. I can't wait till you go to these. It's yeah, be always going to be fun. What is it? Our career conference? That was my first one. Oh, is that a Dallas thing? It's no, no it's just the that was in Louisville. In, um, Louisville. In, in Louisville. Louisville. Oh, yeah. yeah. And imagine. it'll be in Louisville again this coming year. Cool. But and next year, I want everybody to go to Dallas with me because that's where we really have a bunch of fun. And so we'll we'll talk about that next week. We'll get our savings plan started, and by golly, everybody here to go. We'll do the Dave Ramsey thing. Yeah, we'll do the Dave Ramsey thing. That's what we'll do. <laughs> now it's very important that you exfoliate the dead skin cells on your, the skin surface. And you need to do that regularly because if you don't, then what happens is they just start layering on top of each other. And then before you know it, you look in the mirror and you're like, my skin looks kind of ashy looking. It doesn't look as radiant. It's because of all those dead skin cells. So a mask is very important. In the time-wise miracle set, you don't have a mask because it's built into the cleanser. But in your botanicals, you have a mask and you want to use the mask one to three times a week. So I'm going to give you some now to put on your face. Everybody's going to be white-faced for a few minutes. And it feels and so good. And she'll take a picture. <laughs> and post it on Facebook. Yes. <laughs> yes. This is the mask. It feels really good, too. Yeah, it like, you know... Is, it, is, there, is there just one mask for each formula, or does each one have its own mask? Each formula has its own okay. mask. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
You just do that the same way? Uh-huh. And your face is probably going to be white, but it's okay. There's some, does you all need headbands? Here's some headbands right here. That would be great. Yeah. Can you hook me up? I can hook you up. Somehow. <laughs> This is Thank already in the video. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, this video is put straight ahead, Angie. Don't worry. Anybody else need? Maybe we'll just so this video is put straight ahead. You're out of it, so don't worry. <laughs> oh, I forgot. You need a video. Yeah, I am videoing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to let that sit, okay? Mm -hmm. Yuck. You would normally, you'd leave it on for about 10 minutes, so that gives me enough time to give y'all a little bit more training while it's drying. <laughs> and it's going to probably tighten up a little bit. Can you use this mask with, with? Well, you said you didn't need to, but it just feels good. Just to, feels good with the time wise. You could. I would be very careful. Maybe only do it once a week. Okay, maybe. because the other one already. Has yeah, it's it. already got with it in there with the repair. Yeah, just be very careful because you've got all that. But the mask does feel good, mm -hmm. and probably what I would recommend for, instead of this mask, maybe the uh, gel. I've been mask. using that one. You've been using with that one. I love it. Gel Here's a gel hydrating mask, and there's also uh, an well, even complexion. Be, be... Yeah, yeah. the, so those are two masks that would be an option. The even complexion is also a mask? Mm -hmm. it... There's an even complexion mm -hmm. solution, and then there is a mask. And that mask feels really good, you guys. It brightens your skin, and it softens it. So we'll have to try. We'll have I was gonna say, well, that would be an evening. Yeah, we'll try we'll, that. We'll set. try that. We'll try some a couple of different masks in the set. That's oh, what we'll do. Yeah, so Maybe you we'll do that easily. Yeah. The even complexion masks with the repair set. I would only use it maybe once a week because you really don't need it. Gel hydrating. Yeah, I would gel hydrating would be. Better. I would think that would be better. The hydrating gel mask. The hydrating one when I was learning about it that's the one you can put it on and sleep in it mm -hmm. and that's what i do and because it's not like gritty or anything and you really it's just real clear and you can't even tell you've got it on you can't but you wake up the next morning and when you wash your face you can do you feel do it. it after you you do wash you i do it after night time i cleanse solution? and stuff when i do that i don't do the nighttime mm -hmm. stuff okay, so i just do the cleanser sleep. and the uh and the mask and you only do that how many times a week no more than with the, with the repair, I only do it like once in the beginning of the week, and then depends if I get real oily or something, you know, mm -hmm. I'll do it again, mm -hmm. maybe midweek. Okay. Well, I want to um, go over this I, she with you, too. did not do that. No, she didn't. You just think she did. Kathy was hoping around. you would do the video. How do you flip it around? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You can't. Oh, you're you never can. Oh, oh I bet you can. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I bet we can. <laughs> I bet we can figure out okay. those buttons. I feel like uh, Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. <laughs> <laughs> give you all this um, because this is really um, insightful I guess is what you could say and this is booking classes to be held during the day now I do realize that most of us in here work during the day um, huh unfortunately. unfortunately but this gives you some hope and some insight because I know a lot of people and I used to be one of those people years ago didn't think you could book during the day I thought everybody worked <laughs> that's just not true um, this gal right here had a party during the daytime in the morning and it was a party of three people, and she sold all three people the time-wise basic, so, which was a total of $270, and she booked another party. So she had an $800 week, and the week before that she had a $900 week, and this is from doing just daytime appointments. So you think nobody will book during the day, right? Well, um, she schedules three a day, one in the morning, one in the afternoon, and one at night. That just makes sense. You could do this on a Saturday if you wanted to. Okay, she sold a ton during the day. You know, most people do not work eight to five. Did you all realize that? Mm -hmm. It took me a long time to realize that because I'm like, everybody works eight to five. But you're right, there's different shifts out there. So, and just think about this too, people that work in hospitals, people that work in retail. I mean, there's different shifts out there. And so, um, 
and there's swing shifts. You just got to be, you know, realize all of this. Just go out during the daytime and you'll see all kinds of people. Go to Walmart. I love going to Walmart and I have done this before. Into the beauty aisle and saw a lady there and she was looking at mascaras. <laughs> and I just kind of went and introduced myself and because it really, when I see someone, you know, at one of those places in the beauty aisle, I'm like, they have no idea what they're buying. And mm -hmm. I just want to go grab them all. <laughs> mm -hmm. I saw a man standing holding up a wand of, of mascara. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he was there. To, uh, you knew he was there to get it. Yeah. Why are he's like looking at all of them like, I said, honey. It's right there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy. I just thought he less time he there, the less torture. Yeah, yeah. Bring it to you. Yeah. Never had to yeah. Yeah. You'll yeah. never have to go back again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So just think about that. Even when you do work eight hours a day, you know, these swing shifts and stuff, they, they got to have some pampering, you know. Yeah. How, how could you do that around your schedule? Think about that. The second thing was, um, and you'll hear this excuse a lot, but it's baseball. We're at the ball field all the time. Or it's the end of the school year. Or school's getting ready to start. You're going to hear these excuses. And if it's not one of those excuses, I guarantee it's going to be something else. Because everybody is busy. I mean, they just are. So, um, what you need to do is change your wording to people. Because... Everybody, I guarantee, they're going to tell you they're busy. That is like the nastiest four-letter word, I think. And I'm really trying to get it out of my vocabulary. I'd rather be fruitful than busy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but anyway, how about asking them or telling them they're going to be pampered? Pampered sounds so much better than party. Or how about girlfriend time? Mm -hmm. And I always love playing in makeup. That's my big one. And I can book anybody anytime like that if I tell them we're going to play in makeup. It just takes that formality out of everything, you know? We're just going to play in some makeup. You're going to hear people just won't book. And, you know, that can be true because if that's what you're thinking, that's exactly what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. If you think they won't, they won't. So this gal said that all the women she called that morning said the same thing to me. Let me check with my friends and I'll call you back. Y'all mm -hmm. heard that before? Let me check with my friends. And she knew that if she got off that phone without a tentative date, she'd never reach her again. And it's true. I mean, your chances of booking are go way down if you have to call them back. So <clears throat> what she did is they set the tentative date booking, and that's when you pencil it in and show her the pencil, <coughs> you pencil it in. And because I'm busy too. She's busy. You know, obviously, if she's doing all these parties every week, she's busy. And she says... We want to set a tentative date, booking date, anyway, because I'm busy and I don't want to make, and I want to make sure that you have an appointment with me. So that gave a definite date, and most of the time they don't even reschedule. So remember that tentative date booking. People aren't buying the basic. Y'all have any trouble selling the basic? I'm a, and the basic, what I mean is a cleanser and a moisturizer or the miracle set. I, can, I sell more skincare than anything. Um, so people are buying skincare. Don't let them think. People, I think people care more about their skin today mm -hmm. than they did several years mm -hmm. ago. Even men are getting more cautious about their skin. I don't know anyone to book. <laughs> Y'all know it. Lots of people book. So she said, I don't know where you live, but people usually don't come up banging on my door for a facial or to be a, you know, a, have a Mary Kay business. She said, when you have zero leads, get up, get dressed, and get out the door. Mm -hmm. Run errands, give out a card or a sample baggie to everyone. She said, set a goal to give out 10 cards a day for one week. Get some facial bags or 10 surveys out to 10 people. You know, and you can get 100, 100 leads in one week. So, you really do. You have to get up and you have to get out. And I'm going to tell you, be prepared. Have your cards with you. Have some samples with you. Yesterday, was it yesterday? One day this weekend, it's lost. Must have been the day before. We went to Hardy's and met the sharpest gal there. She was so pretty and just sharp. And But I didn't say nothing to her. You know why? I was not prepared, <laughs> and I, that's how, if I'm not prepared, I shy away. 
So that was my lesson that I learned, and um, my granddaughter's gonna be making goodie bags for me tomorrow. So be prepared. That's why I did talk to the man. Because I wasn't prepared. He didn't bother me yeah. a bit to walk up there, but I had yeah. nothing yeah. in my purse to give him. It's yeah. like, are you kidding? You have much more confidence. Is, I don't have any makeup on. I'm not going to go tell somebody that I'm selling Mary Kay. Exactly. Because I don't have lady. any makeup on. But See, I we're wearing skin Yeah, care but she day. didn't care. Yeah. <laughs> I was up there. I mean, that's, you know, that's that's true. True. It's like, I'm just sorry. I'll just get my nose right down to the sewing machine. Yeah, it's more us than it is. It is. It really is. So just remember to attract, don't attack, <laughs> attract, don't attack, put on your Mary Kay vest, um, you know, you can dress up, or, you know, if you're a jeans girl, which I am, I love my jeans, dress them up, you know, dress up, you can look really good, you make sure your hair is done and your face, that's the most important thing. So this gal here is new, this is, she lives in uh, Dauphin, Alabama. And she was new, she's a single mom, and she's totally dependent on Mary Kay to support her family. She knows that this is what the Lord wants her to do. And she also knows that if she goes out and gets a J-O-B, that she's going to spend most of what she earns in child care. Mm -hmm. Think about that. And have only a little to show for the week's work that she just put in. And she misses raising her own children. So she gets dressed up and she gets out that door every day that she doesn't have appointments. And she's constantly gathering new leads. So if you go out and you get 10 leads or you've got 20 or 100 or, like me, a zillion, you still keep fresh leads. Always go get fresh leads. Mary Kay used to tell us that business comes where it is welcomed. Are you welcoming new business or are you sitting on your laurels waiting for it to come to you? So anyway, get up, get dressed, and get out the door. Y'all's face feel like it's gonna crack. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. I can tell y'all are like, <laughs> it's really, really squeezing. Really yeah. squeezing. Well, you may feel go ahead and you take your bag mm -hmm. and get your mask off. I probably shouldn't have run these out. So. The grip I've got. Well. Y'all, people enjoy seeing our pictures on Facebook. I'm of sure our they do. <laughs> <laughs> they do. I think they, they tell spend me. hours laughing about they them. They probably do. <laughs> we don't care, do we? Nope. Nope. I heard a lot of people say they, they like our meetings sound like they're fun. They're not boring. No. <laughs> Never boring. Molly keeps it going. Where'd you go? <laughs> don't say nothing I know. <laughs> she always sits by my chair. It's like, I don't have a dog at home. She's like, no, you need to be petting a dog. So pet me. So the next thing I'm going to give you is the freshener, okay? And this is going to work to close the pores. It's, going to, it's a, like a toner, okay? And it's also going to get off any last traces of mask or makeup that's been left behind. And it feels it closes good. closes the pores. Mm-hmm. And you know what? I should have. I just thought about this. I had a thought. I bet this would feel really good in the refrigerator. <gasps> oh, oh, man. Would I? Coming so, in from gardening outside. You know what? Up your so face. do you do this mask with the, with the botanicals? Yes. Do you use them with the botanicals every night? Like No, no, no. The or? mask you would only use one to three times a week. That's all. Just one to three well, times. Well, if you have, like, really oily skin like I do, uh -huh. would you, I mean, I know they have one for oily skin, but would it be okay to bump it up to, like, maybe four times a week or something? You could try it. I because, tell you what I mean, I'm... my skin, I mean, I clean it every day, and it just by the end of the day is so, so oily. oily. Do you use those oil mat mattifiers? Um, is, is I had one. I mean, I don't have one from here yet. You're going to love the so, new yeah. advanced uh, oil treatment system, aren't you? <laughs> We have a new system coming out that's for oily skin. Really? Yes. Um, it's coming out in August. Is it a whole new separate line? Yes. Or is mm -hmm. one of the oh. taking place of the Velocity? Yes, the Velocity is going to be going. Yeah. Oh. It's it's right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I think this would feel good. I'm not sure why they put this in a sprayer because you really don't want to spray your face. They mm -hmm. tell you not to. But yeah, and the little um, trial ones are a little towelette. Are they? Mm -hmm. so you know what, Kayla? Oh. 
I would, if I were you, I think I would call Mary Kay, mm -hmm. call medical, the medical relations department, mm -hmm. and give them that question, because I'm really, I don't want to tell you wrong. Mm -hmm. It may not hurt four times a week, but I, I'd rather have yeah. you call them and find out for sure. Okay. Okay. And they report back, so we'll know. Yeah, so we'll know. That's exactly right. <laughs> Natalie is. So these closes the pores. Closes the pores. And it also removes any last traces of the mask mm -hmm. or cleansing or makeup. Mm -hmm. She does. You have a good. It feels and good. Yeah. Don't. I'll tell you something. Don't spray it directly on your face. Always uh, spray it on a cotton ball. Y'all like my Korean version, the Gungle style? <laughs> I downloaded the wrong one. <laughs> so we just have fun with it. <laughs> Every young girl mm -hmm. that has the oily skin, just yeah. within yeah. that age of 12 to 16, I guess, mm. it just tore oh. everyone that, that we tried. Yeah, that has the bubble in the boys because I've got my grandson and my son on well, it. And their skin their is skin's so different. different. Yeah, it's hours. thicker. Then the girls are... Great for oily skin. Use that with it. Mm -hmm. you use and it, it has a feel. It's kind of nice. nice. So you might not use the hydrate one. What do you think, Angie? Is there any problem with that? Oh, that's great. It has a come around so here. Oh, she's got it too. That one, and then there's also another one. Sorry. I'm talking. <laughs> It's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. I had mine on the other day in, in Georgetown, one of the little two-year-olds. They love my jewelry. They just love it. This much or is that That's less? probably more than enough. Just rub it all over your neck. Mm -hmm. She grabbed that necklace and she didn't grab it and yank it. It was just enough and it just mm -hmm. broke. It just broke. Mm -hmm. So you got to be careful. Mm -hmm. Does that feel good? Mm -hmm. Go to the castle and fix it for you. Will they? Mm -hmm. I have to get in there. So what do you notice about this formula? It's a lot thinner, isn't it, than yeah. the time wise? It feels really light. It's very light. Mm -hmm. okay. There's no fragrance in it. Is yeah, it? there's no fragrance and there's no dyes. Mm. And there's no That's good. nothing extra in it. So just all That's the time. That's probably why a lot of people can wear it. Well, and yeah. be botanical. So this is great for young people. It's great for people who have super sensitive skin, um, who are allergic to everything because they probably would not be allergic to this. And um, it, it's great for people, young people that want to maintain their skin. You know, maybe you haven't it's developed any fine lines and wrinkles yet, so this is perfect. This is perfect. This is perfect. Okay. You better put some foundation on. I'm going to give you all some foundation primer. Foundation primer. This primer, Lauren, is going to help that foundation stay beautiful on top right. of your skin. <laughs> and then just very light. Oh, you got sorry. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. This, this is like yeah. this is like the feels and all the cracks and crannies. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. And then like the the all the users, all makeup artists use this. Oh. No, and you can layer it. Well, one way you can tell, this is how you can demo how people put it on one side of their face. Yeah, we should have done it just on the way. Because when they put their foundation on this side without it, you can see a big difference. You can see it, yeah, and you can feel a big difference. What I did was anything on the show. And once it's dry, you can put it for about 20 seconds. Then you can put another layer of shock for Mrs. Gal. And then the other, 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 She's a red and I had a house and I tried to drive for my daughter. Oh, the, oh, yeah. She was at the door oh, and I'm not going to have a car to the door. door. I could tell so, like, I mean, she had lost oh, yeah. 10 years because she put the layer and put another layer and put another layer and put another layer and just kept filling in. Do it oh all by so She was just amazing how she lost all those years in her aging days. Okay, we have liquid foundations and we have uh, mineral powder foundation. So who wants liquid? Raise your hand. Can I see batch four? Yes. 
I'm gonna hand this, and you all pick out your shade in there. I don't have a beige one. I'm gonna try the colors. You wanna try the minerals? Okay. I have a beige one. Okay. A two different. Did you ask for um tanning, burning? Let me figure out your foundation. You might have a two in here. Yeah. So both of you. Uh huh. Here I got two brushes. Yep. The foundations are also very easily made in, in your skin. Um, and then as you burn, then it turns to a tan. Or you just straight out tan. Okay. So you don't need it. Okay. Dip it in here. Or does it, um, Swirl it. Now, tap off the excess. Turns to, uh -huh. it turns to tan. Okay. So see, that would be a yellow base. Base tap, 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 tap. I'm a t uh, olive because I just tan right away. So she's and saying then you don't like that much. Um, Is that what you're saying? Probably you real fair skin to the four. So uh -huh. yours here, your you ivory, so you'd be an ivory Is that still too much? Yeah, yeah. that's good. Yeah. Yeah. So so mineral powder, that. right? Probably a little bit more. So what you want to do with the mineral powder is start right here next to your nose, and you're going to work it in circular motions, and you're going to work it outward because when you do it like that, it blends in with your skin and blends in. Mix three and five, maybe. You don't have four? Oh, I might not. Okay. I've tried five. I've tried. No, I have two. I just yeah. wanted to know what that was. So I need an ivory one. An ivory, ivory one. Oh, five. 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 I just took yes, it and put it on my face just to mm -hmm. see if what color would work. And I'd say ivory two or beige one, either one. Maybe even a .5 in the beige you could wear. You could tell more about you're gonna get you're gonna see when you get out in the natural daylight what the best shade is because if you it your foundation can look one way under these lights and get outside in natural daylight and look totally different. Yeah, that's too dark. yeah. That's how especially in the transition Friday, from the winter five. spring. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. Most people will have two different foundations. I put on the five and went, when I went out Saturday, it was, it was just, it wasn't, it wasn't necessarily dark. You it know was what just, it is? Not I the right color. Right. Right. Yeah. 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 So I was See, wondering if I the four was repairs more. Repairing. The dark. I have a customer. Green. Like all of, you know. Yeah. 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 The beige five is the perfect darkest one. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah. Because that's what five look great. Uh, I, 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 I was like, oh. Okay. It's just, it's a, it's a it's yeah. got really strong orangey mm -hmm. colors here. Okay, okay, so this is tool two. So. Beige one. Beige one. Mm -hmm. What do you think of her color from across the room? Does it looks good? It looks good. Looks natural. Very so, natural. I can't even tell she's got any on. I know, and that's the whole thing. <laughs> Except it looks smooth. I mean, it's all smooth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Looks good. Do you like that, Lauren? Mm -hmm. You looks can't good. really tell. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that's what it's all about. I hate being orange. Mm -hmm. I know. Or have lines. Mm -hmm. Okay, for your beach look, guys, real simple. Um, you want to use three shadows. You want to use your beach blonde all over. And you want to use your, your uh, iced cocoa on the outer two-thirds of the eyelid. And then we're going to go over it with truffle. And then I've got some highlight or uh, bronzing powder. And then we're going to do bronze lips, too. What was the have? second one you said? Beach blonde was beach, all over. Beach blonde all over. And then we're going to do iced cocoa on the outer third of the lid. And, and, what was last? and then we're going to use some mineral powder truffle is the color of that mm -hmm. one that we're going to do over top yeah, of the iced cocoa one. just to make it pop. Did you find it? <laughs> so here comes the beach blonde. Can we put it on your tray? Okay. <laughs> Your finger. Use your fingers. You said put beach blonde all over. Uh huh. On first. I don't have the iced cocoa or the truffle. You have some. You want to get a little bit more there. I love putting these things off my fingers. I haven't even used my cream eyeshadow brush for a while. I love my cream eyeshadow brush. I do too. I do too. But I've started doing it with my fingers and I'm like, I like doing my fingers. <laughs> this is going to go on your eyelids and the uh, brow bone, so like the entire eye area. That's exactly what I mean. That's exactly what I mean. treatment, which is tomorrow in about three weeks. A little bit more. Do y'all need beach blonde over here? I have some. You have some? Okay. Okay, Larry. You have to get right now. You have those things. Yeah. I know. I didn't think to grab one. Yeah, they did. Okay. All right. And then our iced cocoa is going to be next. Which is not in the corner. I just, I didn't like this one. I didn't like the leaf. The iced cocoa is going to go on the outer third. And what the way I do it is I use this finger and I just kind of tap it like this because I can get it into that crease with my finger. So not up here. No, just, just, just right in grease. Yeah, just right here, like this. Just on that outer third. Okay. Maxine, these colors look so pretty on you. They really, really do. I feel like I didn't do that right. Let's see. I don't ever put any really. You have got it on right. Okay. Yeah, you're doing it right. <laughs> oh yeah, that's pretty. Okay. That is, is that's what really you mean? pretty. If you let's see. close your eyes and just feel around mm -hmm. and you feel yes. it like the ball exactly. of your eye. Bring it up into your crease a little bit more. Uh, this now, way, this yeah, one, this one, a little you're bit feel more from the inside. Just feel the bone here. Okay. And just Pardon stay on that bone. Need the ice cocoa. Need the ice cocoa. Okay. Okay. We've got it. And I can give it to you. That's sweet. I don't think Barry's wanted this account off it. Ooh, you go, darling. Need a bit more there. Actually, I have one that's two different colors. Kind of a hazel, then? It's a tip. Just the tip of your finger, not the flat of your finger. Well, it keeps it a little more. And there is a. So look around it, put it down in my. Yes. This might make it easier for you, also. Icicles. I loved icicles. Mm -hmm. I, don't know. I, don't know. I still got one or two left. It's just There's makeup that comes off. <laughs> yes. No, and there's yeah, always one. Yeah. Okay, now we're going to go for some truffle. I didn't bring my truffle. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to have truffle. I didn't bring my truffle. 
have your brush. If you've got your brush, you your eyeshadow out. brush, hold it out. Like if not, I've got a sponge tip applicator. I don't know. I've got mine with the alcohol, so I've got spray mine down here. And then this one if you want. Alright. If you want to spray it down. Truffle. Now with the truffle, you're going to go right over top that iced cocoa, but you're going to bring it into the crease a little bit more than you did the iced cocoa. You have brushes, Patty? No. Okay. You see how that felt on your eyeball? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, you want to try that? Yes, it does. And that might give There's a one more. of them. I, I don't sure if you want to grab one of those. I do too much with my fingers either. I use my that brush that because you right can there. control it more how much it goes out. And then you can keep blending it. That one right there. Once you get it so on. So I'm just doing it on this bone. Mm -hmm. Start towards the yeah, inside. That's it. In here, where the bone it starts right in here, yeah. and right stay on that bone all the way. But more in the crease. Mm -hmm. Like a bronzy, coppery. Just coppery. keep feeling that bone, and it'll yeah. come. It'll come to you. Yes. Even being yes. able to find your eyeball, yep. and you like never that. put eyeshadow mm -hmm. on, you're doing great. <laughs> oh, wow, that way. There's always Early. a beginning, and you can wipe that off. That's it, not a problem. Just keep not at all. Yeah, okay. just keep and just take just it and just keep your finger and, and rub back. We have them, gal. That and then you can always go back two years ago. Her name is Linda Holt, and she is a makeup artist from Kentucky that moved up to New York, and then she wanted to raise her daughter down here, so she came back to Kentucky, and she found out about Mary Kay. She was introduced to it. And so she's kind of like our personal um, beauty con um, that makeup artist. That and so she does workshops. And she's sitting here and she's just like, she takes this and she's just like, that's what we use. Tell me, truffle over there. They have an eyeball left and they get that. Winnie, that ring looks good on you. And you just keep playing with it. Like, if you know, and then you're watching TV just to learn how to use it. How to, um, just keep it. It's okay. You got this. These are all the colors that are the. Um, powder ones. Oh, you this like they now. You boxed up. Just in the like crease or just over that. And it has a chart in here. And I know that was really helpful for me when I first started. That's your Mary Kay. Yeah. 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 Because yeah. take the eyeliner. Kayla, okay, well, do you have a brush? You can take mm -hmm. this and go okay. like this and then put it on the eyelids. Mm -hmm. And it works wonderful. I love it. That one will work. Things I yeah. can actually make work. Why do I not have this color? <laughs> oh, the truffle? Yeah. Isn't it pretty? I love it. I, I, I don't have to wait until it. <laughs> Why do I not own it? Thank you. And there's some trouble on that brush right there, Maxine. Oh, right there. Oh, and did you get one into them? I'm coming around. Oh, right there. I got you an eyebrow so Right. Let's see. Give you trouble? Yeah, you gave me trouble. I did, did not. Okay. Did you get trouble? Yeah, did you need trouble? Yeah. Oh. Is it? It's lopsided to me for some reason. Mine? No, mine. Oh, no, so mine good. very well might do. No, yours looks good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Just keep working it in. That's what she told me to do. And there you go, Swedish? Yeah, like it's still good. Cheer light up. Is that just one all the way over to the other side? Mm -hmm. That's what you should do. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. <laughs> um. What's the idea? That is good too. So it's it flat to because it. it'll lay colors on. So, like, so you, you could take that brush and just lay, that. just tap Sometimes that color, that truffle on, here. on top of it instead of blending. Mm -hmm. You could just tap it. It's good to lay color. Mm -hmm. Totally crushed you eyeliner. <laughs> okay. When they give the three colors, this is uh, totally uh, light eyeliner. upper and lower lash lines. Your mascara is next, so go ahead and put your mascara um, on. You want to do a V. And this is how you do a V. You're doing it to the out, and you and I have standard eyes, and the reason you do this is to make like the eyes look appear bigger, and it opens them up by putting, and that's a Ready? V. There. There's already one. Oh, oh, honey, hey there. Uh, Paul cooked hot dogs and, and kraut after he burns pizza. <laughs> <laughs> this is my granddaughter, Cherish. She's my little princess. 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 princess
Look at this and tell me this. Oh, I did it right in the first place. I think I'm really getting it. Oh, yeah. That was why. What, um... What's the rules on the mask? Your eyes are very green. Mm -hmm. They're probably right? both green they're now. Brown. It's <laughs> brown. Oh, there's top. a brown. I go through one about every two and a half months because I well, use awesome. a oh. Oh. Three months is the real life. Whether you use it <laughs> all or not. That's cool. Brown eyes can wear all the colors. I'm so jealous. I have blue eyes. If I wear some of them, it just like washes them out. Like there's no color at all into them. So. Right. You don't want it. You can put it in and twist it, but if you're doing this, yeah. you're pumping air into it, it's gonna make it dry out even out. faster. Mm -hmm. Okay, so when you put it in twist it. Twist it. Mm -hmm. oh. You're also so, pumping bacteria in there. Exactly, you're pumping bacteria. Throw your mascara away after three, three months, months. Whether you've used it all or not. Doesn't yeah. matter. And in four months wearing contest, you definitely cannot wear it past that. And if it gets to looking this like what, this, this will help you. This is the same thing. It's old. <laughs> See so if you got your three. Yeah. Kind of kind of the first thing your basic, was, and then you this. Start wear off. Yeah. This, this <laughs> that would be a different eye shape. So, so you can't read it anymore. It's you have, not that. You, know, you, you got some? Up, that's it. And down, whatever. That's what this is. And then you add an accent on it. Like she's doing on the outside edges of her eyes. And this takes you through yeah, the steps that's here to show you how to do it. And this is a cheek and a, and a lash length and peel it off and just put your hands on the So it's a whole little, it's a sample thing of, oh, of the, um, it's never been used with the with the You're okay. It's only after. But it's kind of funny because you know, you're corny and see. But this is a chunk of shit. You know, it can get old. Yeah. And it'll make more sense. Yeah. And this is the outside of the eye here. So this is what we did. One would be completely covered in it. And up into I the brow, the brush and, the brush is. Is. and then mm -hmm. then number two, you would put just on the eye lid. Is what we did, and then this is that. See how you get that letter V? Oh, really? So it just takes the corner of the eye, and then um, okay, your up a cheek bit colors, the but you don't cover the whole. Let me get just for you. Okay. So it gets that one too, or for a dramatic look. You're using a uh, cinnamon stick on your cheeks. You got your cheek brush? Yes, I do. Okay. I'm like you, I still like this angled brush. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. And this one. Which one is cinnamon stick? Do I have to this Okay, one? when you put that brush on, mm -hmm. the letter C. And you stay up here and around the eye like this, and then just do one dot on the cheek. Where do I start? Do I start okay, and this is angled. So you start on this cheek, mm -hmm. letter C, cheek, letter C, and then down. I've already got some. You just oh. gave it to oh, me. Oh, I did. I need yeah. that real light, so if you so want to do it again. So Lisa needs some. Okay, do you want to try a cheek brush? Mm -hmm. I got one. I have yeah, sure. this is fine. Mm -hmm. okay. I'm so used to just grabbing cotton Good. balls. Yeah. And that's how we blush. Okay. So that's I've never worn blush ever. You know, a lot of people mm. don't. They won't because they're afraid of it. Yeah. Seriously. Yeah. Oh, I love I the have to. Blush. I have no color in my face. Oh, I so too. if I don't put blush on, boy, I look like a pale face. This is also a good one that you can use for your bronze look. It's the Sheer Bliss. So it's called Sheer mm. Bliss, Sheer mm. Blush. Mm. No, it's Sheer Bliss. Sheer Bliss, yeah. Um, cream Cheek Color. That's also a good one to use for your beach bronze look. Put your uh, cheek color on your brush there. Thank you. <clears throat> Next comes the bronzing powders, and my very favorite is the Desert Sun. This one right here, my very favorite, mm -hmm. and it's just going to give you a sun-kissed look. Yeah. And you can, you can use this as eyeshadow. I mean, it's versatile mm -hmm. like that. And so, what you want to do is you want to put it on top of your nose. Right here on your forehead a little bit, on your cheekbones, and then a little bit on your chin. Because generally, when you're out in the sun, that's called kissed by the sun. <laughs> so. Were you working? This came out. 
And it's very... Cool nose for the cheekbones and chin. It's, a, it's the same kind of bronze that they came out for. I still have some of these. Okay. <coughs> you still use your blush brush? You can use your blush brush or your powder brush, either one. <coughs> I want the new brush set. But I can't make myself buy it. Cause I it's like, right there. Mm -hmm. I just it. opened this one because is it just come out recently? <laughs> yeah, look at her. Look. I just got a new this one. This is the one. Yeah, you did. Yeah, sure. All right. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. This is it. She said, "Look at that." Yeah, on top of your nose, like this. Right there. Okay. And then a little bit right here. The brush is a little bit here. And then right here. See, if we like, then you carry it. So you can actually put your makeup in. Yeah, I carry my makeup and everything. Okay, that's gonna be on my. on section two um, and I think it's under product presentation or something but I think they're only like three bucks so get you one for your dimensions lipsticks it holds ten and there's ten dimension lipsticks um, I've got ten lip glosses in here I think we've probably got a couple more but it just really makes it nice when you go do your facials you just pull it out so we're going to do under section two for facial for ah. presentation. Uh huh. We're gonna do beach bronze lip gloss. She does. Yeah, I, I get this like, like, I that like, looks good. I like the lip glosses so much, mm -hmm. but I like the the does it a little. Wow. Mm -hmm. <coughs> I think this is a very natural look myself, and I think that just these bronze touches. You know, if you're really pale like me, it gives you a little color in your face. <laughs> Bronze. Lip gloss. Lip gloss. 
couple more things I'm going to show you all and let you try out. Um, one is the Subtle Tanning Lotion. This is awesome, <laughs> and you can use it on your face. Mm -hmm. I know if you've been on Facebook, you've seen the picture of Tanya's arms. That's amazing. I it's, know it. I remember when the picture was taken. It was right after this came out, and she started using it, and she just used it on one arm, and we took her picture. That's that picture. So it really does work. But here's the thing. You want to use it every day for five days, okay, because it takes about five days to reach your the peak of the bronze that you're going to be. Okay, then just to maintain, you'll want to use it every two or three days just to maintain what you've got. It's safe. You can even use it on your face. My face is super, super, super sensitive, but I was able to put this on my skin, on my mm. face. So feel free to put some on your arms or, you know, because it's not going to do anything, just one little application, but give you something to try. And then this is a tinted moisturizer. Now, a lot of times in the summertime, people... Some people, they won't wear foundation for one reason or another, but this is great because it's very, very sheer. It's just a oh, tint. Oh, does that it, smell good? Is it it is it honeysuckle. Oh, it's mm -hmm. it's honeysuckle it coconut. It's like sun. It's like sun. It's about every two to three days. Yeah, just gives oh, you really. two yeah two after you reach the peak. Orangey color. Yeah. Your tinted moisturizer does not have any anti-aging benefits to it at all. But it's really great to use if you're going to the beach or to the swimming pool because you got a little bit of color, you got your moisturizer, and you got a sun protector in it. It's got an SPF of 20 in it. So mm -hmm. I'm going to pass it around. It's bronze, but if you, I just want you to put a little bit on the back of your hand because I want no, you to feel yeah. it, and I want you to know what it looks like. So um, that's the best way to do it. And then the other thing that I want to pass around that's really good in the summertime, too, is our soothing eye gel. Yes, this is great. Oh, puffy eyes. All the time. Tired eyes. And this is something that you can use as many times during the day as you want to. You can pat it on right over top of your makeup, and it's not going to affect it at all. But um, I know that I get allergies in my eyes a lot, and they'll swell, and I can pat this on. <laughs> And it takes away. It's got green it's tea extracts in it, cucumber like extracts, some other botanicals and minerals in it. Keep it in the refrigerator. Keep it in the refrigerator. Yeah. So I'm going to give everybody a little bit of this just to pat under your eye. Because it's one of the foundations. But it's real. Because I want you to feel it. Mm -hmm. Doesn't that so damn smell so nice. good? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that, that one. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to. Oh. Ooh, that <laughs> you can put this under your eyes, mm -hmm. on top of your eyes. It just feels good. And you just pat mm -hmm. it. You don't rub it. Just yeah. pat it. There's no muscles on I always here. use this finger. So anytime you do a, a, this underneath here, you want to just what? pat it. Because what it happens is it runs so tears. Blood vessels are right below it. And it brings them right to mm -hmm. the surface. Makes them swell. Mm -hmm. And that's what gives that black. Y'all got some of these. So take it. What I do is put These are your weakest fingers. So put them on your ring fingers. And then just start patting. And find that bone down here, it is and that's going away. It's just away. like above that bone because away. it will seep up into your eyes, so you don't have to put it right up close to the eyeball. Just so, what do you think about eye. your beach babe look? I think y'all are ready. <laughs> where's the beach? Let's go. <laughs> that's right. Where's the beach? Where's the beach? Oh, we get Montana <laughs> reservoirs. <laughs> <laughs> Whitney, what do you like? The eyes. <sighs> That really looks Let me pretty. See Every time you do yeah. your eye look, oh they gosh. always look so pretty. Put this on our hand. A yeah, a little bit on the top. That of your hand. purple really is an awesome color, mm -hmm. isn't it? It is. It's not I, black. It's I like a dark brown. Yeah. Yesterday. yeah, it's very, very pretty. Wow. Isn't that amazing? How about you, Kayla? Um, I really like that soothing eye gel. I've been wanting to try mm -hmm. it. They're different. Have you? But I mean, as far as makeup goes, I like the. Uh, Blush, because uh -huh. I hadn't picked out that color in my list of things that I wanted to get, but I'll definitely add it now. You know, be um, be creative with your cheek colors. I used to, I can remember a time when I would use one, one cheek color. That was it. It was I was cool. It was you know. Definitely. And then when I started working my business and I got one of these trays so that I could demo, I thought, well, I'm going to try some of. Them. And I'll even wear these dark ones. But the key is this being one. the bit. 
is that one. I use that one. Mm -hmm. Don't be afraid of that cranberry because it goes on and it's dark. But by the time, by the time I'm done with all the makeup, in. it has faded right in, and, and it's a beautiful red color. It's a great red. color for really. the summer. Yeah. Carrie went to put it on me one time when I first started this, and I was like, you're not putting that on me, I look like a clown. <laughs> She's like, no, leave it. And I, she just and tapped it, it and then yeah. she rubbed it in, it was like, I really like it. I bought it the very next day. I and you it. can keep layering that. Yeah, yeah. I've had this for a year, and I used it at least it. two or three times a week. Looks pretty on oh, your lips, too. Oh, Seriously. <laughs> I had some customers do that the other yeah. day. Did they you? didn't like, like the that. color because I just did the cream and sugar and they wanted more colors. Like, give me some more of that blush. And so I put it on, they put on their lips with the cream and sugar gloss and loved it. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, yeah on your lips right now. Well, you can use what I have on my lips right now is uh, that Wild About Pink, pink Two Dimensions. Like it. You like it? Mm -hmm. That's the Wild About Pink. I'm going to try that. So, what do you like about the Beach Babe look, Lisa? I don't know. I like it. This tan look because I'm not tan. <laughs> well, that's why I use some other stuff and put on my rest of my body. So I'm well, and even face. with that bronzing powder, if you're wearing like a sundress or something sleek, you could pull a bit on your shoulders mm -hmm. and right here, you can do that too. So, and like I've done um, wedding makeup and mm -hmm. I've had a bride one time and she had the low cut, and so I just put a little bit right there. And it just looked good. It just looked good. I like the bronze lip, beach bronze lips. That, that looks good. Mm. That's you, Patty. What do you like? I like the lip gloss mm -hmm. and I like the, um, um, what do you call it? The bronzing powder. Bronzing, bronzing powder. powder. Desert Sun. That's what it's yeah, called. Desert like Sun. That. Angie? I like the eyes. The eyes. They're very pretty. Like the Those are just mm -hmm. definitely good colors on you. Thank you. It makes your brown, I mean, your blue eyes pop. Mm -hmm. like that. Maxine, what do you like best? What do you like? <laughs> she, her I energy awake. She's losing her I'm energy. Processing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm processing. I'm <laughs> processing. Now the record is, you know how the record is? Instead of jumping, it's shh. <laughs> <laughs> Can they go anywhere? It's shh. <laughs> Name something. <laughs> That, the dark brown, the truffle. The truffle. I, I haven't gotten it either. It's like, why don't I? Because yeah. it really works. It really is pretty. It's a good color for blue eyes. Because mm -hmm. a lot of things, not that you can't wear them, but to bring out blue eyes, mm -hmm. the colors, um, which I like colors, so yeah. I, mean, I do it anyway, but the, the neutrals and the browns really bring out blue eyes. Yeah. And that just really looks pretty. I like yeah. that. It looks good. How about you, Lauren? What's your favorite thing? This is all brand new to you. Yes. yes. Um, I like the foundation so and the bronzer, but I think the eyeshadow is way above me. I'm really <laughs> <Yeah. cool. laughs> That's all right. You know, you skincare sure is the good. most important thing in yes. life. It's the most important. And foundation. Our foundations are part of our skincare system because our foundation acts like a windshield. And it's going to keep all the nastiness from going into your pores. Mm -hmm. If you just go out there and you clean your face every day and you don't wear some kind of foundation, then that pretty clean skin is just getting all this pollution going mm -hmm. into the pores. I almost never wear makeup. Yeah. Well, the, what the what the foundation is meant to do is just have a block, you know, to keep the, that impurities from getting into your skin. So that looks really pretty. Yeah. It's very mm -hmm. natural looking. I think you did a great job. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very good job. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, girls, I really hope that you all have learned something mm -hmm. tonight, a new thing. And all these little things that I want to show you all are just little things that you can get together with a customer or a couple of customers. You know, you don't have mm -hmm. to stress do out and say, to, I've got to plan this big party or I've got to plan this. You know, take that stress out of it and just do little things like this. I've got a customer coming here tomorrow night just to try some of these eyeshadows on. You know, nothing formal. Just nothing. It's just, just make it stress free. So, Kirstie, what was something you liked? I like the bronzing powder. I used the matte one for contouring, but I hadn't used the shimmer. Uh -huh. I like it. I was it afraid of it, <laughs> but now I'm not. No, it looks it looks pretty. Yeah. Desert sun. So y'all remember that. I was afraid of it too. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have the same lipstick on as the rest of us? Uh huh. Isn't that amazing? <coughs> yeah, they're, they're different. different lip tones. Yeah. We did the lipsticks here one night, and and I'm trying to find that red, that red, red color. And putting an orange on the bottom, finally that real red, 
looked red on yeah. me. So it there's a lip color that you you know in the skin of the lips that mm -hmm. that'll make those look you know lip stips and everything else look different. Mm -hmm. So that's isn't that funny? It is funny how it looks different on them. And see how yeah. I like how that looks mm -hmm. on you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This looks different. Mm -hmm. So cool. Anybody have any questions for me tonight? Well, we're in the final stretch of the seminar year. Seven days left. Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have how many days for you leave? Yes. Um, a month from no, less than July. Less yeah, than less than a month. Yeah, I can't wait. I, I'm so excited. Um, I'm going to be wearing Kirsty's dress. I'm so excited about doing that. So I'll have Lonnie take a picture of me and send it to you. Um, <laughs> I'm real excited to see what new things are coming out and the new products and what they're planning to do for the next 50 years. So it's just going to, I um, have a Twitter account and, you know, I'm going to use Twitter while I'm gone. I'm new at it, <laughs> but I'm going to give it a try. Um, and then Voxer, Voxer, you all, Voxer, download that app. Angie, are you mm -hmm. using it? I see it come through. I'm okay. just not usually, um, at work and in the middle of something. really, really short messages. So I go back and listen good. to stuff afterwards. Good, that's what I do. I listen to them while I'm doing my makeup and just really good, short, little short training messages. And so I know you have to have a smartphone, you know, a touch phone in order to have it. But it just is a great way to communicate with each other. But I love the training. And now Barbara is starting to put training messages She's on, on there it too. And Holly's on it. Holly's on it. Yeah, because I've got like, it says 88 notifications. <laughs> yeah, mine says like 67. And you know, I'm going to start telling my customers about Voxer because a voice just sounds better than looking at words. And you could do the voice without feeling intimidated, right, Kirsty? <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then I'm also going to be telling my customers to download the uh, Mary Kay e catalogs because they'll have them at their fingertips. So these are a couple apps that, you know, you can use and tell your customers about. One more that would be really good for you and your customers <laughs> is the uh, uh, the Makeover app, the Mary Kay Makeover app. So even I've been trying to work with that. It's kind of, it's fun. Kind of fun, isn't it? <laughs> it's kind of funny. Funny. <laughs> I put my face on there and trying to get it straight and all that. It's, it's fun, though. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. You do it on the smartphone, too? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. So those are some good things. So, so you had the Voxer of Mary Kay Makeover app, and you said one more. Uh, Mary Kay e-catalogs. Well, I thank you all very much. Have a great week. Um, don't forget, you know, if you are, are uh, able to, you know, sign up for a food tray or something for Kathy and them. And then, oh, let me get a card real quick. So we can get.